Welcome to Epic Learnings Heartbeat with the World, Volume 13, with a special cycling edition. <laughs> um, I've got my, my co-director, Nat Gunn, with me. Good day. Hey, Nat. Don't you have a sore knee? I do. This is very good for it. How much time do we have to get this? Um, <laughs> We've got about six minutes, 15, because that's about <laughs> as far as much as I can do in a row at the moment. Sounds like you want to go first. What was your win of the week? <laughs> um, win of the week was a bit of a, a networking and new people um, win for me this week. So I've uh, been completing a runway for business, a uh, new to business course so down here in Christchurch. Um, free course. So mm -hmm. first win. Uh, second win for, from this course was um, reassurance that we're, as Epic Learning, thinking about the right things, sort of um, a lot of stuff around having good val you know, values and your team knowing your values. And so it was a good pulse check for us on when we were at for that. Um, and then third win was meeting some cool people and get, generating new ideas and getting some um, cool stuff going on uh, by, through people I've met in the course and also the Runway for Business group. Um, yeah, so made some new friends this week. Because <laughs> I remember you standing to talk to me about it. What made it so exciting? Was it the enthusiasm or was it just even one? Yeah, they're, they're uh, definitely a real um, value-based um, organisation. They sort of know what they stand for. Um, and they're really into learning and they're really into um, teaching new people um, new skills and um, growing New Zealand business. So um, they're, they're cool to be around because they're kind of ambition for, for what they're trying to create um, is a bit infectious. So yeah, good Ooh, week. Super exciting. Okay, so my win of the week. It's not a three-parter, unfortunately, team. <laughs> uh, I've been doing a lot more e-learning authoring over the last few weeks. And there's this one thing that's always been my bugbear. And I don't know if you've ever used PowerPoint. And it's always hard to line up all your assets or your images in the right order. And I've recently shown Nat <laughs> how to align them horizontally and vertically, so they're all perfectly spaced. But today I learned on Storyline 360, you can actually resize them all at the same time, which was the other problem. Because if things are slightly different sizes, you can't quite align them properly. So <laughs> it saves a lot of time and a lot of headaches, and I'm loving it. Does that mean Epic's gonna get more e-learning, more e-learning out of Carl? <laughs> <laughs> um, How much time is get More say? aligned e-learning. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, it's a, but after a while, you start seeing, you just see when one thing's one pixel out now. So, yeah, you know, I'm going to be a bit more of a, a quality assured person when I get my alignments right. Nice, nice. Scott's got a few wins. Um, he can't be here today through to, through to uh, hard drive issues. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> Scott's had a win this week, which I know you'll want to talk about next week, but I held you guys accountable last week for a tech show and I've seen it. So <laughs> I know that everyone else hasn't seen it yet, but there is a tech show. Woo! <laughs> the tech show exists. Yes. Yes, so yes. That's an epic win for the week as well. Yeah. When I get back from Raro, we we'll definitely pile them on now that we've got uh, a bit of a template and a style for it. Nice. What are you doing next week? Uh, next week, I'm holding the fort. So Carl's off on holiday. Uh, I've got a few new jobs starting next week, some leadership things happening. And um, I've got both you and Scott away uh, next week. So the girls are all next week. It'll just be me and Rebecca oh. around. Yeah. <laughs> You were sorting our insurance out this week, haven't you? Yep, um, that's still a work in progress, but we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get girl insurance? Yeah. Um, so what am I doing? Uh, I'm going to Rarotonga for a week. So <laughs> Really, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've only been talking about it every week, but it's going to happen. So the internet's going to be a bit flaky there, so I'm pretty much going to be offline most of the time. So dead air here for Carl. When I come back though, I've queued up a whole lot of things, probably heading to Auckland and then catch up with one of my subject matter experts on Tuesday. So we've nice. got weeks lined up. You'll be back, you'll be rested, you'll have a tan, you'll be ready to get back into yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Busted knee, fall down a mountain. <laughs> no, yeah. um, I was talking to a few people last night um, at a beer taste, taste testing and a whole lot of people take drones to 
Raro because they're not locked down yet. So you just have these drones buzzing around the volcano there. <laughs> they said it was really annoying. <laughs> it sounds like something I'll be in my bungalow just droning the island and not actually <laughs> going outside. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> ah, yep. Yeah, so that, uh, that $2,000 expense is nothing to do with a drone. It's something. <laughs> How much time do you have left on your... Nine minutes, 55, five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so um, why are we cycling that? Just to <laughs> so we've invested in office bikes. Um, we've been using them for quite a few weeks now. We're starting to build up. This is part of my um, ACL rehab, but also a general effort to be a bit more active in the office. So it's really easy when you work from home to get stuck in one room all day, every day on your chair. So um i've been trying to have as many meetings as possible like this on our on our bikes um using it to stop and just be a bit creative you know if you're trying to think through a problem or something like that come and sit on your bike bike it through um already starting to see some results definitely helping the knee out it's been it's it's wicked even though your team laugh at you because you look a bit silly <laughs> you're kind of always kind of half breathless yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah you get strange looks on video <laughs> Quest. Um, yeah, I've been loving it as well. Great way. I used to go for walks when I got roadblocks, but I haven't really been doing that over the last few months. So hitting the bike for five minutes helps me out with that. Okay, well, I'm off the row. Mm. We'll end the cycling. I want... Scott, your challenge is to get rid of the sound of my bike. Mm. <laughs> we'll see if you can do that. And we'll catch you guys next week. See you later. See ya.